hello, hi, how are you doing? So this is about blood over intent. Now people who don't understand blood over intent, I'm gonna break it all down in this video. Now, why should we do blood over intent? Well, first of all, you make atonement for your unclean souls. Secondly, you reclaiming your divinity. Thirdly, you'd be put into the book of life, which is the 144,000 living souls. Fourth, uh, when it's time, you will go to the grail. You will drink from the living waters, then propelled into perpetual twilight. There you'll get your superpowers, live forever. And that's, that's it, baby. That is it. And that's why you should do blood over intent. This is about bringing something beautiful to earth, right? And this is uh, white magic. And if you write on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Uh, prick your finger, a couple of drops on a piece of paper. Um, put it onto YouTube, hold it up as um, proof of life. Job's done. There you are, you'll be sealed into the book of life. Basically, at the minute, you're in Hades, in the land of the dead. We're officially dead right now, lost at sea. And that's it, so let's break all this down, shall we? What we are doing with our blood over intent, with this powerful ascensional magic, is collapsing this toroidal and creating a new one. We have used our blood, which flows through our bodies, zero point, in order to merge back to the microcosm zero point of this realm. Essentially, we are replacing the cosmic egg and reinstalling it with our intentions to ascend. Blood over intent is something you do to free your soul from bondage. You do this by writing down on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth and to love and exclude none or to reclaim your divinity and sovereign. You make your intent, but make sure you say I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. As long as you intend to bring heaven on earth, you can add or subtract your intent. It's not about what you believe, it's what you intend to do about it. Man, it's just like if a Christian's walking down the street and sees a Muslim laying on the ground. He's bleeding, uh, unresponsive, not moving. You know, it's not what do you believe, it's what do you intend to do about it. And that's exactly what blood over intent is. And people out here trying to defile it, pervert it, make it an evil thing, you know, that's absolutely wrong. And, you know, your intent is clear. Your intent is clear. If you're not here to bring heaven on earth for the benefit of all, then what are you here for? And, you know, some might argue that, you know, with that intent, you know, you actually got to put in action and help that man that's on the ground. You, with intent comes action. And, you know, putting your blood up, that is an atonement for your filthy soul. And that is the action. And when 144,000 become blood thick, blood strong, you know, heaven's coming to earth for the benefit of all. And it's as simple as that. Blood up or shut up. I just want you to think. I just want you to see the walls see the walls of this box that we all have that we all live in we all reside in our own boxes and my box looks just like your box and your box looks just like his box just like her box but we're too blind we're so blind and we think that our box is so unique and so special when it's just a fucking box cardboard glass titanium gold wood it's a fucking box you can't expand more than i can expand i can't expand further than you i can only dwell deeper within so understand what i'm saying is I'm not angry if you don't agree with me. I'm not angry if you're stupid. Trust me. Stupid, I can't fix. Ignorant, I can help. I can try to help. Understand, God put the same information here for everybody. That God right there did. You see, that's a sign. That God did that. That's, that's who did this. That's who did it. For everyone. But you don't get that. Because you're reading your Bibles. You're reading your Qurans. You're following the Sunnah. All these other things you're looking at. You're missing that the whole point of it is to love God and to love mankind and to love yourself and to learn yourself. Because how can you love something you don't know? How can you? You tell a woman I love you, but you don't know that woman. No, you sexualize her. You lust for her. You have feelings for her. You infatuate. You're, you're probably kind of infatuated with her because you're thinking about the things you can get from her. And it's the same thing that we do with, 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 with God or the Lord or Yahweh or Jehovah, whatever you want to call him. All you want is something from him. God, give me this. Send me to heaven. Your place, that's special. I don't know why I deserve to be there, but you. But I want to be there. So you should do this because I said it in your son's name. Not in your son's name. No, not that son right there. But in Jesus' name. It's cool. I'm not knocking Jesus. Believe who you want to believe. I believe in some of everything. It's cool because I can read it and I can see. Check this out. I can see God made that. That's grass. God made that. You see that? I see that. I know that's true. I know I didn't make it. I know I couldn't make it. And I know if I could make 
man from soil where soil it that's some soil right there that's soil right there you said if i could make the man from the soil where did i get the soil who made the soil it wasn't me i can't create soil so what i'm saying is there's a wealth of information it's not in books it's right here in the ground it's right here in the tree it's right here everywhere it's right here in the sun you sun gaze every day at least 10 seconds within an hour after the sun comes up and an hour before the sun goes down sun gaze every day god will teach you he'll be your mentor the sun right there you said yes that right there that light will teach you that light has information it has love it has heat it has all that involved take that bring that inside hear words from other people meditate with that shit inside let that stir up and you know what that might make a thought have a whole thought dessert with no fucking high fructose corn syrup or any kind of bullshit sugar a real dessert of life love prana good sun rays you know what I'm saying something you know tell the holy trinity is israel ice is his water ice is water huh ra is sun rays l electricity there we go these three things govern the whole entire human body it's right there in the bible it's right there in israel it's all right there but you don't get it you know why because you're too looking at the surface you're a surface thinking person i think sad guru said that's monkey mind all you can see is surface look at you see the grass and you think that's it huh that's it you don't know all the minerals and stuff that's underneath that you don't know what goes underneath because you don't care to know all you care about is your box and making your box look prettier than somebody else's box because you're stupid you're not a gift just because you're in a box some people put shit in a box. I think Justin Timberlake put a dick in a box. Maybe you're just one big walking dick in a box. I don't know. God's gift to somebody. Probably not God's gift to God, though. Have a good one. Think about this. Cast your blood over intent. Really put it behind all of us. Blood over intent. Look, just tell, just look at the sun. Cast your blood. Prick a finger. Whatever. Put it over a piece of paper. Write it down. Matter of fact, put it, look, you know what? Post a video. Don't even write it down. Make a video. Look at the sun. Talk to the sun. Tell the sun that you want to bring upon heaven on earth you want to change all this bullshit we got going on around us and you want to free everybody you want to free yourself first of all you got to free you because you can't free you if you're still looking at the box how you gonna tell somebody it's a box no no we got to expand past that we got to fix things really fix things i just talk about it, okay nobody places their blood on something they do not intend to fulfill this can work in malevolent ways or harmonious ways us blood brothers and sisters are performing white blood magic harmonizing blood magic Blood magic which we are recontracting ourselves to the fifth dimension, heading to Hyperborea to the heart space. And to get back to the heart we must take our we must take our heart energy and proclaim we are divine and we are not dead. We do not consent into dualism any longer. Soon as we perform blood over intent, the timelines start ticking and everything about our lives start to unravel. So the Aurora Borealis is the heart energy and blood over intent is the ultimate key to waking up from the halls of Amenti and ascending upwards. I repeat over and over again, blood over intent is not for everybody. If you do not feel compelled to do it, that is your choice. built with hands of flesh. This is because the physical world dominates the spiritual world. You have a spiritual body anchored to a physical body, and so you have a say in what happens to you. I've already been to the Holy Grail, and when 144,000 people come back to life, I'm going there in the flesh. If you want to come with us, you're going to look up blood over intent and become blood thick with us so that we can cross the frost bridge together into the Garden of Eden. Blood over intent is the end game of alchemy. It is passage back into paradise. Write out on the paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Sign it with your spiritual marker, your blood. This is spiritual currency funds your intent. Do it on video and post it online for witnesses. Your proof of life is now on its way to be woven into reality. 